And welcome back once again, everybody, to Bloomtown. Oh, hi there. Uh, Maeve? Hi, welcome to the stream. You're the first one here today. Alright, let's see. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Always fun. Wait, what the heck? Rewards enabled on channel. What the heck does that mean? Huh. Anyways, uh, let's see. Where were we? Uh, oh, right. There's the... One did... Ooh, wait. What is this? No, oh, that's not what I want. Interact with this. Frank definitely Frank definitely bit this donut. I figured that out without me. I suppose it would be wise to interview witnesses. Alright, we're looking for Frank. Mona's dad. Or stepdad, who may or may not be abusive. We're trying to figure that out. Good day. Good day to you, too. Would you like a newspaper? Thank you, but not right now. I'm looking for a policeman. His name is Frank. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah! We, we've very much enjoyed it so far. It, it, I've got a little few nitpicks here and there, but overall, I've really enjoyed it so far. He's supposed to be... He's supposed to patrol the waterfront, but he's not here right now. Ah, oh yeah. Mysterious disappearance of an officer on patrol. That's a headline. So you've seen him? Of course I have. He was chasing a vicious criminal. Oh really? What happened? You'll find out all about it when you read it. In tomorrow's issue of Bloomtown News. Very helpful. <laughs> I'll give you 20 cents. And tell me what's... Tomorrow's newspaper. Uh, speed out unless you want me to call the authorities on you. How about we trade news for news? Uh, I'll give you 20 cents. Deal! This Wachowski's Donuts recipe will be in tomorrow's news. Oh, you son of a. God damn it. <laughs> Just started throwing you on Twitter. Ah, cool. Follow me back. I will figure that out uh, after stream if that's alright. Oh, yeah, thank you. The results of yesterday's game, the Purple Lightnings won. And of course, the highlight of the issue is the news story about the boy who stole the scooter. The article will recount in vivid detail how a brave police officer chased down a juvenile offender towards the park. Could have started with that, but thanks anyway. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. What's the park? This way. Across the street. Too close to our way. Oh, we're almost there. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Oh, there he is. That is private property. It must be returned to its rightful owner. It's Billy's scooter. Misdemeanors like this are the first step down the road to real crime. Frank! Can you see I'm on duty? It's okay, I'll wait. Emily, right? What business do you have with me? I'm here to get my powder puff. Ah, yes. A toy that slowly leads down the path of depravity. You're a weird guy, Frank. Way too serious. Didn't your parents teach you that wearing makeup at such a young age is unhealthy? This guy. What's the harm exactly? Doesn't mind me wearing makeup. Uh, what's the harm exactly? The chemicals take a toll on your skin, and you give yourself a flashy image in the eyes of your neighbors. What? No? Chemicals are a myth. They'll think all sorts of bad things about you. Are you one of those people that thinks bad things of people because of stuff like that? 
usually people who accuse others of that kind of stuff are usually the ones doing that sort of stuff. So are you thinking bad things, Frank? Plus, let's be honest. I don't like the influence you have on Ramona. Hey, to be honest, she's been more of an influence on Emily than the other way around, I think. She's become completely obnoxious. She's wearing makeup, running off to the woods, talking all kinds of nonsense. Maybe it's not me. Listen, when was the last time you spoke to Ramona? What are you talking about? We're in constant communication. Like, actually talk to her, though. Asking how school is going at... Bre Asking how school is going at breakfast doesn't count. Ramona's changing. She's not the same person she was in the elementary school. Mm, excuse me. She's not doing anything wrong. If anything has changed, it's that Ramona is more confident. She's learning to trust herself. You might notice it if you stop, if you stop trying to control her every action. How dare you! Yep, he's one of these kind of guys. You don't know a damn. You're just a spoiled, cocky little girl from Chicago. You don't know. You don't know what the accident has done to... You don't know how it changed our lives. <sighs> I'm not trying to control her. It's just I'm afraid for her. She's all I have left. Yeah, and if you cling too tightly or try to be too strict with her, you're not going to have her. And trust me, growing up with a very controlling parent, it's only going to push us away. It only pushes them away, dude. Trust me. <laughs> that stupid powder puff. What if some creep takes advantage of you two? I just can't imagine how afraid I am for her. Have you tried talking to her about it? Hell no, of course not. You moron. She's just a little kid. She, again, she's growing up. You're gonna have to talk with her about this stuff. If she's already somewhat involved with this stuff, you kinda have to have a talk with her. She has no idea. You shouldn't think of her like that. She's more grown up than you think, Frank. Seems like, as a matter of fact, I'm sure of it. All the two of you need is just to talk about it. I... I don't know how to talk to little girls. It's okay. Not many people do. That's a good point, Billy. Or whatever your name is, kid. Do you want to go now? I'll walk you out. It's okay. I'll take the scooter back. It was fun running from the cops, but this whole drama has ruined the mood. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, let's go. Okay, that that all ended a bit nicer than I was than I was worried it might. Damn, Frank. I need to think about it. Oh, okay. So they had their little conversation off screen. Okay. Frank. I miss mom too. Aww. You gonna be okay, Ramona? You gonna be alright? Okay. Oh. Hang on. Not just the two of us. Could go out without the others. It's about time. Are you sure it's okay? Uh. Oh, I can't pull off. Frank asked me out for burgers. Wanna come with us? Wow, of course! Ooh. Get a little wrap up to her little story. Okay. Emily, for God's sake, hide your wallet. It's on me today. Oh, well, thank you, buddy. Jolly, darling, three burgers and a milkshake for each of us. So, <clears throat> how's school going? And Frank, it's summer. School's on break, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, right. So, uh, what do you do on your summer vacation? We're fighting demons. <laughs> Frank, how many years does it take after somebody graduates high school until they forget what kids do on their summer vacation? I'm going to go with this one, just because he'll probably think we're crazy if we say that we're fighting demons. 
I'd say just about 20 years. Hey, it's not... Well... Sounds like he hit the bullseye. Not at all. I'm proud of my gray hair. I remember summer vacation of... 37. Kissed a girl for the first time. Maggie Smith. Brown curls and a gap between her front teeth. So wide you could build a highway through it. <laughs> wow, okay. Most awkward kiss of my life. <laughs> 1937. Almost our age. Okay, wait, hold on. So, they're, they're like, uh... Like 13 or something, right? So, uh... He's, I think, like... I would take a guess around 40? So that would put this game around the... 60s or something? We're almost the 60s? Okay. Finally figure out the time period. I, I knew it wasn't modern day, but I was trying to figure out what exactly the time period was. So, I'm allowed to kiss now? <laughs> Absolutely not. The boys these days are horrible. I was a gentleman. Yes, a very gentlemanly description of poor Maggie's teeth. <laughs> well, mm, let's not get off topic. All right, then. How's work going for you? Well, a bronze kid, one who stole the scooter, he turned himself in. The owner of the scooter is not pressing charges. I heard them talking about compensation. Two trading cards and an ice cream. That sounds reasonable. That's outside our jurisdiction. <laughs> Emily, have you tried the local ice cream yet? It's awesome. The unnatural color and chemical tang always reminds me of Bloomtown. What? It sounds like a very weird ice cream. I should have tried the ice cream Uncle Liam made back in the late 40s. Huh. Okay. Anyway, thank you. You know, uh, for pushing me and Frank to have that conversation. It's like he's changed. I mean, he's still the same old Frank. But something is different now. It's like we had the... It's like we had an old chip, an old chipped china cup, and we painted over all the cracks with beautiful gold paint. What I mean is, thank you. I'm always on your side, Rammy. <laughs> Rammy? No, don't call me that. Definitely calling you that from now on. <laughs> Woo! Get the maximum level of friendship with Ramona. Woo! Okay, family therapist, oh boy. Uh, with all of battle, allies get a random buff when evading. Ooh. That would be handy. Not that we, uh, evade very much. We dried up, so I'm looking after you. Take care of the plants. At least we have to keep taking care of them. Now that's better. Ooh. What do we get? Charm! Ooh, we almost maxed charm. Alright, it's uh, only 137. Only managed advice. Talk to the mayor, but they won't see us, or won't let us come near him. Talk with the pastor and side quest. Oh, that's not it. The spelling he. Oh, right. Uh, are we high enough level for that, though? Ask Frank. Oh, wait, where is arrival? Oh, right, we can uh, also do it like this. One more about the note. The note. It, it's been a little bit since we played this, so I'm uh. A little forgetful. Talk. Did you know, Meryl? I found a, I found your note at Martin's. 
That stubborn old bugger. Forget about him. If he wants to spend the rest of his days grieving, so be it. Oh, right, the, the, the old man that they're trying to force out of his home. Right, 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 right. And even bother to come by. Yeah, rub him, rub him nose in it. I think I was supposed to be rub his nose in it. <laughs> Meryl loved his, loved him. <laughs> they got the him and his uh, <laughs> mixed up with these. Anyways, Meryl loved him so much, but his nonstop grieving does nothing to honor her memory. Try talking some sense into him. Are you getting starting to get hungry? Sure. Okay, I'll turn that one off. Cool. Uh, let's see. Cabbage, I don't like cabbage. Uh, we, yeah, we haven't really taken care of any of the plants yet. Do we need any of this stuff? Uh, old note from Merrill. Inform Martin. Yeah, let's go type. Right. Go say hi to Martin. Oh, there's a. Uh, supposed to be. Oh, hey! That's a really big bug! Why it was so dark, it's cloudy. Police station. Wait, where's Frank? Frank is. Well, not Frank, Martin. He's over. He's... Yeah, here he is. Martin, you should read this. What? Oh, no, she didn't give up her wealth. She just loved living with me. In this shack. It's time you stopped mourning and wailing. I just wanted you to be happy. She buried this happiness here in your yard. So let's get digging, Martin. Don't even look at me. You'll have to dig it out yourself. Oh, did she... This could buy a new house. A new life, even. Which means now you can move. Now you can afford to renovate... Now you can afford to renovate this house. I didn't think of this before. I'll go talk to the mayor about a new architectural plan. Here, let's take this. Token my gratitude. <laughs> Free candy. Hmm. You think cornflower blue would be a good match for brick walls? Wait, right, don't answer. Okay, so we 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 got the, uh, we fixed it up, and uh, he got to keep his house. Oh, I mean. Potentially got to keep his house. Uh, shoot. Alright, what's next? Night Stalker. Uh, shoot. Uh, simple beetle, sandwich beetle. I'm gonna have to read up on those. Uh, bug hunt. Sandwich beetle. Cute and tasty name for beetle. Who's not going to eat? Hmm. I think I need to talk with the boys again and see where they excuse me, where each of them are. Because I totally forget where each of them are. I'm catching bugs. Maybe a whole lecture on that. So enjoy art. Where are you? Champion Beetle is injured. I want to keep participating in fights. <laughs> I just want a pet. I'll put him in a box and feed him. I'll even make him a hand. Ooh, and for my collection. Complete my Entomological Atlas. Oh, great. They're not going to tell me where to find them. Uh, I completely forgot where to find each of them. The only reason I remember the one was because we... It was just right there. I don't remember where any of these other ones are. 
But if they're all big like that, then it should be fairly easy to spot. Rock, oh, rock club closed. Yeah. It's really too early for the rock club anyways. What's over here? Ooh. Abandoned house. Spooky abandoned house. With Christmas lights? With Christmas lights and a jack-o'-lantern. Well, at least they're festive. Oh! Sandwich beetle! No! No! Shit! Oh, that's not what I wanted to... Oh, crap. God damn it, Hugo. <sighs> well, hopefully... Hopefully we're strong enough to beat him this time. Alright, let's see. He's... I guess reflects fire, but... No. Well, we, do, we can't actually hit him with the... Really? So that's... Okay. Hit him. Try to get that bleed going. this time. We might actually be able to do it this time. Oh, come on. Uh, I forgot he heals. Lead by, ooh, there we go. But fireball. So try, try shadow strength. Uh. Ooh, evasion. Oh, right, but the remote was not on the team, so it didn't really. Ooh, bleed, but there we go. Uh, let's just go with the ice shard. Ooh, there we go. That's some good damage. We might actually beat him this time. No, we're out of ammo. Oh, come on, no! Oh, don't, don't start this thing. Oh, we're so close. Oh, of course he's gonna heal. Come on. Come on now. Twenty-seven. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Come on now. Oh, we're so close. Yes! Finally! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I finally beat him. Whew. Whew. <laughs> oh, that took us too many tries the last time. We well, got him on the first try this time. It was foolish to rely on cheap manipulation, Mr. Welch. You messed with the wrong folks. 
Now we have to haul the cauldron back. You don't understand. You're just a stupid whelp. You need not you need not be this way. Time yet remains for you to undo what you have done. Maybe then you'll reunite with Marina. Kido, how are you feeling? It's like every cell is maturing. That sounds scary. You feel better, right? Uh, that sounds scary. Only for the first hundred of years. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wait, so that that's just it? Oh. Sandwich beetle. Well, we know where to get the sandwich beetle. Have to get back over there to it. I can figure out how to get over there from this direction. Oh, hey. Future. Wait, can I go up the. Nope. Can't go up there. There we go. Gotcha. Just a beetle. Oh. Oh, I guess he's supposed to be like a, like a cub scout or something. In town high school. Cloud to thunder cloud, I guess. Yep. Okay. Now to get that sandwich beetle. This way. There we go. Gotcha. Night Stalker. Now, where the heck would the Night Stalker be? Hmm. Ooh. Remains here? Or? Jazz Club. Close up on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 47. Ah. So, again, we're still too early for it, even if it was open. Oh. Where's that last bug? There has to be some way to get up onto the roof. There's like the pathways and stuff up there. Hmm. Ooh! Crossword. Let's see, what is the name of the North Pole region? The Arctic. North Pole. Yeah, North Pole is Arctic. Uh, South Pole is Antarctic. Oh yeah, that's it. There we go. Aha! There's the Night Stalker. Okay. Hmm. It's fast. Oh, not fast enough. Ha <laughs> Gotcha! Free the bugs! And over the catch. Alright. Oops. It's stuck on the building. And that caught bugs. <laughs> oh, we take care of them. McCoy, your collection is complete. Brandon, here's your new Legionnaire. <laughs> None of you will get my bugs. They are alive and deserve to be free! Uh, Ollie, oh, take good care of them. <laughs> this will make Mom so happy. We're going to have a real wall chewer at home. Thank you. Wow. It's a big one. We need a separate box. At least five pins. Oh no! Yes, finally, battles can continue. Thank you. I didn't think you could catch it. Men's Council, huddle up. 
Unintelligible whispering. Unintelligible whispering. Unintelligible whispering. Ah! Unintelligible whispering. We have a decision. The men's council has decreed that you deserve a reward. Okay, yes. do you want? Let me just take two. Thank you. Nope. Wait, I have one more bug left. And one one? No, that's just a regular bug. Yeah, those are a dime a dozen. Not interested. It's nothing special. Let me try selling it. I used to. I used to take my bugs to a shop in the rich neighborhood. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got a little bit of cash. Still not enough to get any of the really big equipment, though. Find a doctor, try looking in the orphanage. With Mr. Lovely Storks. Storks song. Wait a second. What does the stork sing? Oh no, who would know something like that? These aliens seem to come up with some very down to earth rhythms. Shoot. Uh, this will talk with Mr. Lovely though. I know where to find him. Mr. Lovely. Hey, you. Talk. Let me write in one avian question. Oh, you found out about my little passion. Yes, I'm into that. Why? What time do storks begin to sing? How do you mean? Is this some kind of joke? Absolutely serious. Strictly speaking, the stork does not sing. It clatters. That means the answer to your question is never. I'm not sure how else I can help you. Wait a second. But this, catch the unparalleled Miss Stork live in action. Tickets available at the Jazz Club. Ah, okay, okay. Interesting. Space Jazz. Wait, but we can't get into the Jazz Club yet. Can we? No, it says it's locked. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, so we can't do that one for a couple of days. Ooh. Hmm. What can we do until then? So I want to try and get some more of the these things done first. Some of the side stuff done, so. Call Chester on the radio. Chester, come in. I'm here at Ramona's house. Frank is here. Waiting for backup. Oh, right, to finish out his little side thing. Okay. Good afternoon, Frank. Emily, Chester. Okay, so. I'm not sure how to say this. It was me who painted that car. I'm so sorry. We can wash it off. So this was your doing. Technically speaking, you committed a blatant act of vandalism. By all accounts, I should arrest you. He's like 10. Because of you kids, a good policeman, Bruce, was demoted. Ooh. Ah. That sucks. Wait, can that happen just because you get your car vandalized? Just from some paint? Really? That seems really harsh. Oh yeah. City folks drop by and surprise! They catch Bruce's car sporting a fresh piggy paint. Their piggy paint job. We hadn't scrubbed off yet. Well, we got it off now. But because of you, Bruce has been demoted and now patrols the embankment instead of doing real work. How awful. How can we find him? We can help! Easy, Michelangelo. We can't help Bruce. The embankment's changed him. He's a different person now. That didn't take very long, but geez. If you really must talk to him, you'll find him on the embankment. Thank you, Frank. Your kindness means a lot. See you on the embankment. I have to run now. Chester! 
Okay. Well, I guess we'll go find Bruce then. Brucey boy! Brucey! What is that? What is that? Looks like a little tiny tent. See that? Is it just like a marking on the ground? Huh. I have no idea. Bruce. Where are you? You Bruce? No, you're not Bruce. You're not Bruce. Your hot dog. Oh, wait, Bruce! Policeman! Chester, come in. I think I found the embankment warden. <laughs> embankment warden. Hey, kid. Drop that ice cream. Quick! No pistachio flavor allowed here. <laughs> what? Hello. Are you Bruce? Finally. I mean, <clears throat> yes. Officer Dombrowski at your service. Tell him, Chester. Who's us who painted your car? Oh, isn't that wonderful? What do you want from me now? Come to mock the old man Dombrowski, eh? Would you look at that? A cop was reduced to patrolling the embankment all because of a blasted pig. A, a, all because of a blasted pig painted on his car. You want to help? Oh, I can manage patrolling the embankment all by myself. Thank you very much. We can get you your job back. Stop talking nonsense. Can't make that happen. I need to do three brave deeds. Ask Frank and he'll get it sorted out. <laughs> Let's get fake IDs and go to Mexico. Uh, we'll try asking Frank. That's nepotism. Officers get dishonorably dismissed for stuff like that. Ooh. Okay, so maybe the three brave tasks should have been... Now it's on me to cleanse this. Pigment from my honor. Oh, cleanse this pigment from my honor. Ah. Uh, do three brave deeds. Oh yeah, I know this. From the comics. For starters, you can help an old lady cross the street. We have an old, an old grumpy grandfather. Grandpa will do too. We can also get a cat off a tree, and then, de de and then detain a vandal. There, it's three brave deeds. I can handle that. Probably. Talk to Chester. Hugo, let's help the police officer. On the agenda today, a policeman heroically rescues a helpless pet stuck in, a, stuck in the branches of an evil tree. That pet will be you. I suppose a feline pet would be better suited for this role. Well, we don't have a cat. A corgi stuck in a tree. You've got great imagination, Emily. Thanks, I guess. You're going to need a ladder so that Valiant Hero can save you. Well, so that we can put you up there. Look near the, Look near the shed. I think I saw one there. We can talk to Chester and Grandpa while we're here, too. this ladder has seen in its lifetime. That's how we get Hugo up the tree. Everything is ready for the feet. Now we need to find the right tree. Grandpa, the police need your help! Here we go again. Come on, tell me. Brief and to the point. I need you to pretend you're decrepit and let a nice cop help you across the street. I don't want to do that. Buck fifty. <laughs> really? Is there any way you'll do it for free? Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. You win. Who would have thunk it? I humiliate myself for free. Great. So here's the plan. Okay, so we convinced Grandpa. That was easy. 
Cheese through. Yeah, what is it? I'm coming. What do you want? It's time to figure out how you can help Bruce. Get his right back. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. I'm neither an old man nor a cat. I guess I'll pretend to be a vandal. It's better for you to be a vandal under controlled, sir. controlled conditions. Some things are better experienced at a young age, so you grow out of them and don't come back to them later. Jesus. Sometimes you can be so tedious. Okay, okay. Any ideas? Want to paint something again? You think small. It's going to be a real blast. I'll make everything myself. But you have to bring me a stink bomb. Like in this book. Oh my god. I hope you know what you're doing. It's a stinky Use the stinky Namicon. I think I already have a stink bomb. I just... Stinky bomb. Oh, I don't have any of them. I need three scrap. Shoot. Uh... Oh, I can buy that from, um... From Ruth. Uh... Over here. Hey, Ruth! Ruth! You help me with, get in touch with the aliens, remember? Yeah, I remember. I'm gonna buy 10 just because. Whew! Shoot, Jesus. Oh. It was a little bit better at work than. <laughs> Quite a bit better than yesterday at work, so. Still quite, or er, still tiring though, so. The stinky bomb. Oh, proficiency. Oh, that's the one that we're lacking in right now. Alright, come on, Cheester. Here's your manifesto. <laughs> I hope it doesn't actually explode. I don't want to suffocate. Just wait for me and Bruce to come. Be cool, but play along at the end, because I don't want to spend the rest of the summer in stink town. Okay, well. All units are ready. Brucey boy, where are you? Should be... there you are. Bruce, the city needs a brave policeman right now! I'm ready. My strength comes from my badge, not from my shoulder straps. There's no problem I can't solve. That's the attitude. Please follow me. I heard someone calling for help in the nearby square. Is this one the grandpa one? Oh, no! Nope. Ah! The elusive taste of freedom. Entangled amidst these branches, its memory fades. Only a valiant rescuer can grant my escape. Have no fear, pupper. Don't worry, fellow citizens. I'll save this poor animal. But shall I remain the same upon descending, descending and breathing in the miasmic airs that shroud the earth below? You're hamming it up way too much. He can't understand you. Hugo. Don't overdo it, Hugo. I'm coming, pupper. Whew, Jesus. I am. I have not experienced such humiliation since 1954. What happened in 1954? You're not old enough to know that. I will say one thing. They were hanging your undergarments in your backyard. Ugh. What? Wait, why would you do- <sighs> Never mind. Alright, I'm ready. I'll shoot. 
Oh, those cars are going so fast. I can't cross this street. I can't do it. What's the matter, sir? I'm too old for this busy road. I can't cross it. Ah, I'm scared. I will stop traffic so that you can cross the road at your own pace. Damn it. I should have asked at least three times as much. <laughs> well, Chester, it's time for you to shine. Do I have to put this on my head? Would you prefer a sock? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody move! I have a message! The pressures of the American education system are too much for my adolescent psyche to bear. <laughs> she, she wrote him a script, didn't she? I, I don't see Chester coming up with uh, this by himself. <laughs> it's time to reclaim our liberties. It's time for a revolution. Which is why I'm going to blow up this stink bomb. Oh my god, please don't. I have children. Where are the police when you need them? Stop! Police! Citizens, stay calm! I'm about to apprehend the offender! <sighs> Gasp! Thank you, folks. Members of my heroism have reached the city government. They say I might be reinstated soon. Thank you so much for forgiving us. We won't do it again. I have to admit, I haven't completely let go of this situation. But I do forgive you. You're nice kids. Thanks. And also you're welcome, I guess. So, how do you feel? Feels good to be recognized for the good things you do, not the pranks. Glad you figured that out. I didn't say I'm giving up pranking. A well, little vandalism and some dirty tricks aren't necessary. I get that. Alright, I'm going home. No threatening blowing up the stink bomb. The kid dropped his comic book in fear. You gave it back to him right away, didn't you? Uh, sure. Right away. As soon as I read it tonight. <laughs> Chester. That's called stealing. You're not supposed to do that. <sighs> Alright, what's next on the... No fish. We're not doing the fish stuff yet. Okay. the doctor. Hi, Doc. Sorry for accusing you of, um, peddling drugs. I mean, technically you were, but they're, uh, like, actually good meds, not drug. Anyways. <laughs> Need help with a case involving Mr. Lewis. More specifically, with his asylum, right? People are always coming around. Ask the other relative or friend released. Can that be done? With the new laws, no. It's practically impossible. You get money for patient care, and naturally a big chunk of it ends up in their own pockets. Their patients, or rather their victims, are prescribed endless new treatments. All merely to waste time. Someone I know has been kidnapped! What do you know about the local orphanage? And say they kidnapped. Is that so? Please, sit down. Let's discuss it. Tell me, who's missing? Not missing, kidnapped. John, Johnny, the kid from downtown. We, we were playing hide and seek. And the car? There were scary hands coming out of the trunk? Take your time. I think I know who you mean. Is that nice boy from the sixth grade? Yeah, that sounds like him. You're saying he was kidnapped by some scary hands from the trunk? That's right! And Mr. Lewis was in the car! They said he bought the orphanage and that he was going to transport all the orphans to the asylum. Little Johnny said that. No, he didn't. It was Mr. Lewis. You do believe me, right? Well, of course I believe you. But years of practice have taught me to be cautious. So what do you think? 
Mr. Lewis could certainly afford to buy out every seat on the board of the trustees. And his heart is black enough to harm perfectly healthy kids in the asylum. Scary hands from the trunk is basic trauma imagery. I do wonder what you're going going to do about it. Uh, Stephen, but I need your advice. Friends and I decided to do whatever we legally can, but we don't know where to start. That's commendable. We need to write a police statement and find witness corroboration. You can't go to police. I'll just move Johnny somewhere else. Police are too slow. In any case, you need some proof that Johnny ended up in the orphanage. If you bring proof, we'll think of something. Shall we stake out the orphanage? If we don't find anything, we'll go to the other side. We'll definitely be watching you. In the future, be more careful around therapists. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go talk to the priest guy. Mr. Priestly Man. Good afternoon, young lady. How can I help you? Actually, I don't know how to get the mayor's attention. Help me out. Did you knock on the door? Did you ask nicely? Of course I did. That's weird. Try to get more people together. Maybe the administration just thought you were joking. How am I going to get people together when, when I'm new around here? Find people who are close to you in spirit. I can't believe such a lovely girl has no friends at all. Remember that no noisy kid? What's his name? Preston? Well, yeah. I think he's friends with everyone. We need a crowd. We need him. Alright, let's give it a shot. God works in mysterious ways. Bye. God be with you. Hmm. Preston's house. Preston. Up here? Yeah, somewhere around here. Not that one. Uh, this one. Nope. Already did that one. Hmm. Aha! This one. Oh yeah, the kid with the, the cape. Oh, hey there. We need to gather everyone. Everyone. Blech. We need to gather everyone we can in front of the administration as soon as possible. Can you help me? That sounds complicated, but not too complicated for me. Great. Can you call Ramona? Uh, you guys are close, right? Bye. Wait. For the world to give you something, you must give something to the world. What a peculiar aphorism. Aphorism? I'm not sure I've seen that word. Aphorism. Hmm. Why don't you help me and then I'll get some people together for you. Okay. What can I do for you? Dad is real busy and doesn't have time to help everybody. So he sent me off to do some good deeds. I could use some help. Ronald won't be coming today and all the others just want money. I see. Well, let's go. If it really is good deeds... Then we need to cover the bottom of the wooden frame with this paint. But why? To protect the inhabitants of the house from the forces of evil. Okay. I can't reach. I asked you to hoist me up, but you're a lady. So let me lift you up and you can paint it. So that's like a violation of personal space. Okay. We have paint? This needs to be carefully painted over the bottom of the window frame. Weird. Now these people are protected, I hope. Uh I live here with my father. He's a famous he's a famous mystic. How's that? He does some card tricks and scams the old ladies? Hey, don't say that. He helps people get their lives together, protects them from the entities of the spirit realm. When I grow up, I want to be just like him. I'm willing to help people. 
Everyone will love and respect me. And pay me, of course. Huh. Yeah, that all makes sense. Thank you. Uh, it's born in 1951, Chicago. Okay, so if she's like 12 or 13, so we, we definitely are in the 60s. Like mid-60s. You'll have to recite your bi biography. This isn't an interrogation. It's nothing, nothing interesting, really. I'm Emily. Just Emily. It says there's something special about every person. Really, Emily? You're cool. Don't belittle yourself. See, even the dog agrees with me. How do you know? Maybe he agree maybe he agrees with me. I just feel it. I don't spend much time with the other kids in Chicago. I was more into books. I like books too, especially with cool covers. So, we also have a vinyl record player in our living room. I have one too. It's this year's model. Okay, never mind. Maybe that. What are we really doing? You may be talking about yourself more than listening to others. What are you really doing? I'm protecting the residents of the town from evil spirits and misfortune. Who will green paint help with that? Look, my dad is very is very good at magic stuff. Just trust me. Uh, I think we'll I don't think we'll do that one. <laughs> no offense, but let's just get this over with. Yeah, sure. We'll, make, we'll take a shortcut. We need to protect the residents of this house, too. Paint the frame? No, that won't work this time. We need a sonic spirit repeller. <laughs> you gonna offer to lift me up again? Sorry, but that's just funny. Probably more reliable than just paint. That's what I always t that's what I always say to Dad. But different entities have to be dealt with in different ways. Nope, I can do it myself. Just explain what I'm doing. My god, Emily. That boy is just... is just being used. His father is a crook. I got that already. We're just fighting demons in a different way. Oh... Hmm... We should explain it to him. I agree, but we have to wait for the right moment. Uh... Sorry it took so long. Are you getting bored here? Let's get, let's get a move on. Oh, sorry, buddy. I won't leave you for that long ever again. Clearly don't understand him at all. Mr. Lewis, can you remember anything interesting about him? Can we see Dad a couple of times, but I didn't overhear anything. But I remember he left with a new ring and a pendant. The ring had an amethyst in it, I think. It helps, it helps to turn low vibrations into high vibrations. There was also a pendant with... A apophilite? Apophilite. Mystics use that one to strengthen their connection to the astral plane. Damn, it all adds up. Anything about what happened to Johnny? We went to the orphanage and I think we saw him walking in the courtyard. So why didn't you break him out? We called to him, but he didn't pay any attention to us. Oh, they probably got him like. If they're being all shady and stuff, they probably have him drugged out of his mind then. Which is really, really messed up. But, I mean, they're already doing messed up stuff, so I guess it tracks. <laughs> There's also some kind of strict priest there. Pretty intense vibes. Well, at least we know he hasn't been taken away yet. That's a good thing. Next point. Events. Okay. You just have to listen to the old lady's complaint. There is a noise. That sounds so great, can't you hear it? What? You can sense ghosts too, buddy? It's okay. I bet my dad can help with that too. <sighs> oh boy. Hello. Did you call Charles Bond Mystic about the about the noise? Yes, young man, I did. Can you can you hear that frightful noise? Yes, I think I do. You think so? I'm going out of my mind here. I'm no expert, but maybe it's the rock and roll club. It's literally right next door. I get the feeling our four-legged friend is detecting the presence of ghosts. Goodness gracious, real ghosts? Are you sure? I'm afraid so. <laughs> you 
sure it isn't just... I'm going to yeah, say that. Oh, my dear girl, sometimes nasty noises do come out of there now and again. Maybe that's all it is. Emily! I'm sorry, my friend doesn't mean that. There's no one at the club right now, and there's still that sound. Look, there's a radio hidden in the bush. I think that's the source of the noise. Ooh. I need to do something. Uh, and the radio in the bush is here. Uh, discreetly turn off the radio. I don't want the kid mad at us, because we still need his help, so... I'm just gonna turn the radio off. Oh, I see it over there now. You know, sound pollution can be detrimental to your health. But these vibrations are coming from another plane of existence. You can't eliminate them all by yourself. So what should I do? You should call Charles Bond Mystic. If you hang quartz at the focal point of your house, you'll feel much better. Also, ringing Tibetan... Bringing Tibetan bowls clears the energy of the house. My dad always says so. Oh, you must come as soon as you can. I just can't stand it anymore. Thank you for your help. Is our deal still on? Yeah, there are only some people near the administration. Give me a few days. Alright, it can't be like only three people. Sure, no problem. We'll end up half the town. Gotta go now. I need to charge my sapphires with positive energy. Do it for my call. Yeah. Good luck. Bye. Yeesh. This poor kid. <laughs> Alright. So we took care of that. Now we go over here and check out the... Emily, I think we should distract Mr. Lewis with some bureaucracy first. Let's talk to the grubs before we go to the other side. Ah. Whoa, what in the world? What the heck is that in the... Is that a missile? No, wait, is it? <laughs> a missile in the sandbox? No, that can't be a missile. Can it? Why is there a missile in the sandbox? Oh, we can go up here. A rich district. Okay. A tennis court. <gasps> Paper! Solved the crossword. Where did the most famous tea party in the US history take place? Uh oh, shoot. Boston! Boston Tea Party! Yeah, that's it. There we go. Ah, oh, we're already a smart. We're already as smart as we can be. Ooh, mini pot! Oh, I, oh, it's been so long since I've played some mini pot. Mini golf. Putt putt. <gasps> More newspaper. Let's see. What is the name of the process that transfers water and sunlight into. Nutritional chemicals. It's sunlight. That's photo photosynthesis. There we go. Wait, no, I'm not gonna wait around here. Oops. Let's see. Ooh, ducky in the pool. <laughs> pool that whoa, that's a fancy looking house. Mr. Hyde Mystery Items. Closed. Open Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Ooh, we're close though. Be proud. Tobe. Tobe. Bye. Huh. Probably just. Thought so. <laughs> Lord's boxers. Hmm. My accessory. Aviator sunglasses. Just charm. Strength training wristband. Okay. Hmm. 
Ooh, person. First, we're gonna wait a couple minutes for so we can go into this place. While we wait, I'm gonna get you a little, a little bite here. So how are you doing today, Maeve? Oops. You doing all right? Your fish is over here. Just do not hear. Oh well. An interesting shop. Wait a second. That's an egg from Alien. <laughs> that is totally just a xenomorph egg. Oh, there's Thing. You severed hand. <laughs> the little uh, water bolt. That's cute. Oh. I didn't even notice the baby in a jar here. Ugh. Is that supposed to be- I mean, it's orange. Is that supposed to be like a reference to Death Stranding? It's an interesting little thing. That's a big snake over there. Mimic chest! Oh, hey, wait a second. Oh, at the top there! See that picture? That's like the uh, the eclipsed sun that usually shows up whenever we get into a fight. Oh. This is an interesting little place. Wait, what the heck are these? Hello, what mysteries have you brought? What mysteries have brought you to my humble store today? What are you selling? I have a bug. Want to buy him? Isn't he a cutie? The boy said he was too plain for them. Don't judge him harshly. They're still young. Every life is a miracle. Sure, I'll buy them from you. What are you going to do with them? I'll talk to him and let him go. Or let him stay and live in the store if he wants to. Sure, there you go. Come here, little buddy. Okay, here's the money. Hmm, decent nice amount. Talk. Yee selling. Rarities and artifacts of all kinds. Secrets and dreams. Okay. Ooh. I can just buy demonic essence from them. Ignite. That's where the songs, I think. Uh, shoot. No, I'm not gonna. Do it right now because we already have a couple of the uh, capture things, don't we? Yeah, we have two demon catchers, so we don't need another. Oh, wait a second, let's see if we can. 10% SP. Ah. Okay. 
Well, that was interesting. Tobe. Tobe or not Tobe. Wow, there's not a lot over here, is there? Mason will have to go in there at some point. Probably not right now. Try looking in the orphanage. Well, they wouldn't let us in there, so we gotta wait for Preston's call. Space Jazz! We can't do that yet. We have to do that on Friday. I'm curious about this hitch piece up there. Now, there's something else with the. Uh... We didn't get the extra thing with Chester, and we haven't got the thing with Hugo, so maybe. Let's take a break and hang out together. Woof! Great idea! What would you like to do? All that immortality made me forget, you know, dog stuff. I'm so excited to be getting back to the basics, but what if I have to become too human? Or what if I have become too human? In any case, I should like to give it a try. To the park then? Aww. Poor Hugo. Hugo? Would you like to try and... How would you like to try fetching a stick? Let's go find the most awesome bush in the park. Try barking at something. Try fetching a stick. This is so exciting. Last time I fetched a stick was back in 1914. Aww. He's relearning how to be a dog. Find the awesome bush. Emily, you're spoiling me. How do you like this one? This is a rare specimen. Like, like shame incarnate. I guess you'd know being a dog. Let's keep looking. How about this one? That one's too prickly. I prefer not to itch. All right, let's move on. Uh, is this one okay? No, no. That one is too much. Hugo, you want to do the dog thing, right? Mm. Yes, you're quite right. This one will do marvelously. But... How about you try barking at something? Sound idea. How shall we choose the object of my barking? Anything? Something moving or standing? Something that might bark back? Let's begin a series of experiments. Bark, bark! No, it's not moving. There's no kick in it. That's getting better, and it still lacks some spice. There, that's it. That's the ticket. So, how's it feel? Wonderful! It turns out, happiness lies in the simplest of things. Aww. Hold on a second. There we go. Things that are so easy to forget. And it's like the seal of eternity which, with which is, I was branded had somehow separated me from these little moments of joy. Aww. But now I can finally chew on them like juicy kibbles. <laughs> Shall we go home? Let's go. Aww. My bones hurt. Hugo, you're scaring me. Oh no! That's okay. Pain means that I'm truly alive. By the way, what happened to Welch? I don't know. It's hard to predict what could befall someone who, had, who has once tasted immortality and is not ready to relinquish it. Something tells me we'll be hearing from him again. Hugo. Mm hmm. You're the best dog I've ever met. You knew life suits you well. Let me buy you some dog food with turkey. You're the best dog I've ever met. Now you are a wonderful girl, Emily. An empathetic and kind person. Aww. Yeah, a taste of life. Maximum friendship with Hugo. Yeah, there we go. 
Proficiency, Nobility. Next turn, all allies will take only half damage from any attacks after the first one. What? Hmm. I'm not sure I understood that one. Alright, let's talk about Chester again. Chester? Yeah, what is it? I'm coming. What do you want? A gift! Are you afraid I'll wreck the place playing with it? Just kidding. This is wicked! Thanks! Hang out. You wanna hang out together, brother? I'm always in. Uh, there we go. Wanna take a walk? Where to? Kick some cans around? Nope. Jump on the railroad tracks? Not this time. What then? Let's just take a walk. He just wants to talk. You know, I've been thinking a lot. After everything that's happened lately. Butch and his guys, they're not bad. They're just confused. I think they're total jerks, or I think so too. I can't say I... <coughs> Excuse me, what the heck was that? <coughs> Excuse me a second. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> I don't know what the heck that was. <coughs> Whew. Weird. <clears throat> Anyways, I can't say I felt cool when I was with them. I felt like I fit in, but it's not worth it. Ruining Bruce's life was a bad thing to do. He turned out to be a cool guy. Did he? I felt so much better when he forgave me. How could he not forgive you after what we did? The town was on fire that day. So about Butch. He's kind of uncool, actually. And he can't dance to save his life. Your dance skills are be way cools. <laughs> oh wow, have I attained recognition? <laughs> I'm glad you think so. You know, if you ever want to take a break from spending time with me, that's fine. Or if you don't want to talk with her, talk with your mother. Just don't distance yourself. And just don't distance yourself away too much. We'll always be there to understand and support you. Uh-oh. Dirty thieves! I'll show you what horror! Oops! Run! Thank you, Emily. You're the best big sister. Just don't get too mushy on me. You're the best little brother, Chester. Aww. Tight-knit family. There we go. <laughs> Kids together are strong. All the attack deals 50% more damage. Woo! Okay. So, we got everybody's um, stuff max level. Except for Ruth, but we can't do hers yet, so... Oh yeah, we have all this stuff to go through now. Book of Unspeakable Horrors that promise to rule the world with the power of stinky terror. Three. All right. Now we go to bed. Bedtime. Ooh, there we go. Let's get a little workout in. Alright, finish up my dinner.
She's almost got as much health as Hugo. Is there anything else that we really need? Not really much we can do until... Until we get that call, so... Hmm. Wait, we have a thing for... Oh, no, we have the, the, the gift for uh, Ruth, not... Not uh, Ramona. Let's go! Go do a little job, I guess. It's raining, why not? I know a lot about birds. Oh, we already did this. Interact. Help him run the little shop. Okay. Wait, can we do it again? Can't do this right now. Ah, uh, we don't have enough time. Cheap ticket. Go and you, you lost this time. Shoot. Twelve fifty. What else can we do with our gym's closed? Fishing. Oh, fish in the forest. <laughs> Same stuff. Hey, telescope is an activity. Hey, want to see the stars? Got twenty minutes? Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, enough for today. Okay. Alright, how much B do we have? We Have a living bait. Okay. So we can go fishing here. We're fishing in the rain. Up here. A sunshine farm. While it's raining. There we go. We're getting a little bit better at that. Ah. Is there like a specific time we have to wait for it or? Constitutes when we're supposed to throw it in and when we're not. I don't get I don't get this. Oh. Fishing. I'll try fishing here. Seriously, what? I see the fish. Hmm. There we go. 
go. Perch. New fish. Out of bait. Okay, hold on. I need to check something real quick, because this is kind of annoying. Wait, can I move the thing, Rhodes? Can, you move? can I move the thing? I might be able to move the thing while uh, waiting for the fish thing. The, uh, the, the thingy. Huh. If I can, I feel like an idiot. Ah. Try this now. You can move it! God damn, I feel like an idiot. Perch. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. That makes so much more sense now. Wait, what? That's enough for today. Oh, shoot. Then we can spend a couple minutes reading. Sleep. Sleepy time. Sleeps. Sleep good. Sleep very nice and good. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Three stars for what? Charm. Oh, that's Max Charm. <laughs> Heartbreaker. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, what's our Power of Coup. The remote support applies a random buff to a random living ally at the beginning of the player's turn. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so we only have Guts and Proficiency left to level up. It's a Wednesday, so I need to wait two more days for before we can do the uh, the space jazz. <sighs> I believe it said it opens at four. Oh, phone call. Yes? Hi, can I speak to Emily, please? It's me. Preston? Yeah, I'm calling to let you know we're going to rally outside the administration building. We're getting ready. Come on over. Great, thank you. I'll be there soon. Ooh. Wow. Oh, there we go. Hey, I got the crowd together like I promised. Yeah, very impressive. A crowd of kids. What'd you expect? The Dock Workers Union? I don't know. I really, I really appreciate it, though. I really do. Thank you. Just straightening out my karma. 
We are ready to start. Meet me at the administration door. Hi, you ride? What do you mean? Do you ride a bike? A little bit. Cool. Did you come up with the idea for the rally by yourself? Well, that's great. You can't ignore us now. I wish Frank would drive by. What for? You'd probably just swear at us. Because, you know, I feel like I'm not alone here. And together, we can change the world. I just hope we don't get grounded. Hey, would you like would you like to launch a rocket from the roof sometime? A real one? Yeah, I got a hobby club. We build and launch rockets. Look for us on the roof here in the city. I knew you could get to the roof somehow. Oh cool, you can make it. Yeah, just try not to think about how how much bacteria there is on those filthy kids. Oh no, I'm thinking about it again. I'll be okay. We're, going, we're doing an important job. Bacteria understand that. And they're not going to mess with you. Yeah, we've got to get Johnny out. He's the reason I'm here. Oh, hello. Hi. You look like you're going into the woods. I am. I run a scout troop. We're out on the stadium by the, by the school in downtown. If you love the sounds of owls and splashing fish, you should come too. Oh, wait. There's Chester. Are you doing all right? I don't know. It's my first riot. It's not a riot. I'm just getting the mayor's attention. It's totally legal. Are you implying that rioting is illegal? Of course it's illegal. It's the whole point. When you riot, you throw rocks, cause a ruckus at, you cause a ruckus at night, and burn tires. Oh, that's so lame. I always thought it would be fun, like, having a riot, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, tasty lines. Oh, give me some. Give me a charity. Hey, partner, make a greedy face. Income tax refund. Oh, yeah. There you are. 30 cents and the lemonade is yours. You won't regret it. On weekends, we sell lemonade at the museum. Come on down. Uh. Hey, it's the Bug Boys. Hi. How did they talk you to come and... Exhibition match for the youth. Raising the prestige of the sport. Block it! Block it! For God's sake, don't distract me! Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. How could I have missed it? I'm gonna save Johnny too? Johnny who? I'm here for the bug fighting show. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Sure. Alright. So, we're starting a rat? Let's go! Guys, let's go! Come on, just like we practiced. Down with the government! Where are the bike lanes? Hooray for wildlife protection! Hydrazine for the people! We didn't practice! What are you doing? We have to practice first! Bug fights! Bug fights! <laughs> Free the inmates of the orphanage! Tax deductions for the young entrepreneurs! Bring back baseball! Tired of Lewis's villainy. Children are people too. Greentown is no place for demons. Uh, children are people too. Comply with at least some of your own laws. Bugs need athletic privileges. I'm selling my garage. What happened to Johnny? Yeah, what happened to Johnny? Who the hell is Johnny? The city needs some good vibrations. Special facilities for school. For school clubs! Lemonade! Who wants some lemonade? <laughs> we need our space program! The administration needs to be held accountable for its inaction. Mayor! 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 What is going on here? A revolution? Mr. Mayor, it's just some kids playing democracy. Never you mind. Who started all this? I did. What are you doing here, little girl? Go do your homework. What homework? Rose, it's summer. Well, I do have to practice my debating skills before the upcoming election. Why not with the kids? Mr. Mayor, you can't be serious. I don't think... Rose, they are fellow citizens. I should be instilling in them a sense of pride in public debate. You don't want them throwing rocks, causing a ruckus at night and burning tires, do you? 
No, sir, I don't. Well, then you mind your own business. Go make some coffee or something. Actually, I'm doing the tax and budget projections right now. Wow, I didn't know we did. I didn't know we do that. This is going. He's doing very bad things in Bloomtown. These evil things, and Rose helps him. Uh, I think we'll leave uh, Miss Rose out of it for the moment because. Because if she starts throwing her word in too, and Mr. Lewis is already an adult, they're less likely to listen to kids if there's two adults against them or stuff like that. Oh, hey, Kiva. <laughs> Standard politician there. How you doing tonight, Kiva? That is a very, very bold statement, young lady. What proof do you have? My kidnapped friend is being held at, held by force at the orphanage. Well, I know that Mr. Lewis is preparing to move the orphans from the orphanage to his asylum. EPAF. Aww. Long day. You gonna be okay, Kiva? If you need a nap, go take a nap. <laughs> now why would he do that? To get more budget money. But in any case, he'd be spending it on patients. No, he wouldn't. Well, no, that would be most despicable. And you all can confirm her words. Uh... Yes, she's telling the truth. We believe her. I saw it myself. Woof. <laughs> I believe her too. Okay, okay. All right. Ma'am, just wanted to pop in and say hi. Gotcha. Well, thank you for dropping by. We always like having you here, you know that. Your dropping by definitely helps us uh, get closer to affiliate and all that, so. <laughs> so thank you. But yeah, now that you dropped him and said hello, if you're still tired, go on and take your nap now. But again, thank you for dropping by. We need to watch some more stuff this weekend or sometime soon. <laughs> probably keep the stream up. AFK to help your statistics. Oh, thank you! Awesome! Thank you, Kiva. But again, also... So uh, if you're free this weekend, I wouldn't mind watching something else with you. New episode of uh, Don to Don is probably out, right? That'd be fun to see. <laughs> oh, and I found out uh, that ne apparently the next chapter of the... Uh, there's something about Amy. Uh, apparently it doesn't come out until next week. I thought it would... I mean, supposedly they have it up on... Opera GX today or yesterday or yeah yesterday I didn't know that you could have videos locked to a certain uh, web browser like that or I don't know how they have it set up but anyways but yeah you want to watch something so let me know yeah <clears throat> I'm a fair mayor. I'm a decent mayor. I always listen to the citizens. Remember to tell your parents before the election. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Rose, call the Chicago inspectors. Have them search the whole orphanage. Ooh, oh, he's actually listening to us. I'm afraid that's impossible, sir. The inspectors are on vacation until the end of the month. We'll need a member of the clergy and a qualified psychotherapist to form a commission. We have a psychotherapist in town. And the Holy Father, too. Great. Uh, wait a minute. Dr. Knightley and Mr. Snowy, right? No, they wouldn't walk down the same side of the street together. If you can convince them to visit me together, I can give them the credentials they'll need for the inspection. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Smart, you might. I just have secured another term as mayor. We want to mother him up. That's... it's all for the people, not for me. 
Okay, everybody. Get to work. You kids talk up the committee. Rose, coffee, and those, uh, what was it you were filing out there? Projections. Yes, right. Finish filing them. After the coffee. <laughs> oh boy. Great jobs, guys. Or, great job, guys. You can go home now. <laughs> we got them. Kids, together. Strong. <laughs> awesome. Well, talk to the psychotherapist and probably the clergyman. Western Psychotherapist. Hey, therapist guy again. Here's authorized an inspection. Will you help? The links that I will go for the children. That's great. Thank you very much. Go to the mayor's office while I check on the check on your partner. And who might I? Who might my counterpart be, may I ask? Uh, you're going to find out anyway, so you better find out now. It's Pastor Snowy. Well, that's a surprise. It seems I suddenly have an unusual number of clients in my schedule for the upcoming eternity. Uh, wait, why are you guys fighting? What's, what's up with you guys? It was nice to see you, Emily, but I think you should go. But why? I've already wasted far too much time explaining the objective scientific perspective of the world to various believers. Ah. So, it's the Mr. Uh, Mr. Super Religious versus the Atheist. The, the very Atheist guy. Great. It's always a waste of time. Dead end. Frankly, it's annoying how they live in a world of shifting responsibility, but let's leave that topic for our supervision session. I have to sedate myself. <laughs> okay. Children's lives are at stake. And by miraculous coincidence, the people of the faith are to blame. What a surprise. Hey. Hey. You're also to blame here because you're not helping. You seem to be one shifting responsibility right now. Aha! See? Yeah, that. Hold on now, Emily. When exactly did everyone start automatically believing everything you said? It's entirely possible you're merely making up fantastical stories for the attention. You were sent here against your will from Chicago, wasn't it? And now you're compensating for your lack of attention at my expense. I'm changing the subject. Give me a 200 question test or potion of truth. Why are you changing the subject? It's a maneuver designed to get to the patient's problems faster. I'm not your patient. I'm a concerned member of the public. And someone here is trying to avoid confronting some kind of a trauma, which is bad for his psychological health. How dare you use my techniques against me? <laughs> Mr. Snowy, on the other hand, immediately agreed. Hmm. Now that's just plain old-fashioned dirty manipulation. No, it isn't. Yes, it is! So what? And that, my dear, is that. The problems of the orphanage children is a matter for the appropriate supervisory authority. Which, at present, to my deepest regret, is the church. The doctors at the orphanage are also involved. There's a lot of indifferent people guilty of this crime. Oh. That was a unique animation. Alright, alright. I have a burning, overwhelming desire to be a better man than all of them. Enough to put aside my differences with Mr. Snowy. For now. Uh-huh. How noble of you, Doctor. But you'll owe me one. What kind of one? I don't want to be in debt. I don't know yet. But the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get used to living with it. Hmm. You go. Even when I solve other people's problems for free, why do I still end up owing someone something? 
Emily, I wish I could somehow protect you from adopting that perspective. And be careful about talking to me in here. You know, in front of... Uh, slow down just a little. I'm taking this down. Uh oh. Now, Mr. Pastor. Mr. Pastor. Good afternoon, young lady. How can I help you? Here's authorized an inspection. Will you help? Of course, child. I'm here to help everyone. Thank you very much. You go to the administration office and I'll get Mr. Knight or Dr. Knightley. What will we need him for? For the inspection. Oh, no. I'm not going to the same building with that godless man. Your lives are at stake or at risk. But why? Not only does he deny God, but he also speaks blasphemy about believers. He does not share my ideals. Mercy, love, and compassion. It would be difficult for us to work together. But children's lives are at risk. Where are your ideals of compassion and mercy? Oh wait, that was Emily asking that. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry, but I can't be sure that you're telling me the truth, child. Mr. Knightley, on the other hand, immediately agreed. What about that? What? Oh yes. He said he couldn't sleep peacefully while the children of Bloomtown were in danger. I'm afraid if you don't join them, he'll get all the glory. All right, fine. I'll go to the administration. We'll be equal members of the commission. And... And... It shouldn't be about glory at all. It's just that he can't be left alone with those unsettled minds or something bad might happen. I'll do whatever it takes to save the children. I'll meet you at the administration office. There we go. Report to the mayor. Oh, wait, where are we? Hmm. Hey, bug boys. Hey, Mr. Mayor! Oh, there they are. I have discussed everything with Mr. Snowy and Dr. Knightley, and tomorrow they will go to the asylum. I'm counting on the young lady to persuade more people to vote for the interests of the people. Gentlemen, I'm counting on you. How lucky we all are to have such courageous men in Bloomtown who are always ready to help. Well, uh, yes. Mr. Knightley and I will take care of everything. Of course, colleague. This is truly a miracle. These two will finally do something useful together. Emily, we'll stall them for as long as we can, but I can't promise you more than two weeks. God bless you, child. We need to focus on Mr. Lewis. Time is running out. You're right. You better hurry. Wait, what do we do now then? Try looking into the orphanage. Ow, ow. And I need to zoom over here. What was that? Oh, it's just a person. This must be the orphanage. Shall we try to observe the yard from here? Uh. Yeah, let's observe. Let's sit and wait. Let's wait and sit. No, we're not going to achieve anything that way. We have to go to the other side. All right, sound the call. Rona, Chester, we'll be waiting for you near the orphanage. We'll go to the other side. So what are we looking for anyway? Proof that Johnny is here at the orphanage. What kind of trail would Johnny leave? Johnny was always quiet and calm. Maybe we can find one of his things? I'll let you know if I smell anything. Oh boy. Get to the other side of the asylum. Uh huh. This room is too clean to be real. Why don't we get Johnny and the others out ourselves to the underside? Woof! Look! 
Ooh. Look. Look carefully. What's wrong with this bed? It's, uh, uh, all right. There's hair on the sheet. Is it so much to ask for there to be order? Perfect order? Nothing more? No, that's not too much to ask. Order in the head begins with the order in the things around us. Yes, Father. Don't ever defend them again. You understand me? They were thrown out there. Or thrown out here. Nobody gives a damn about them. There are things. What? Defend wait, what? Whose bed is this? Take him take him to the left wing. The takeoff room. This will be a lesson for everyone. Today you will be pulling the lever. It's time for you to become an adult. Wait, what? What the heck is going on here? No! Well, at least try. Wait, what the heck is going on in this place? Told you so. We're on the underside, genius. We came through the demonic door. You hate it when I'm right. <sighs> Mr. Lewis have a son? Guy sounds like a real asshole. <laughs> he does, but... Sounds like the kid is just a wimp. Nah. Mr. Lewis have a son? Hmm. It's quite possible. Yes, he does. Who cares? We just need to find Mr. Lewis and defeat him. Like normal. I hope we don't have to beat his son, too. That would be sad. Oh, hey! And the, the, the picture there, that's um from... Oh, shoot, what's the game? That's uh, the Clock Tower. It's the Scissor Man. Yeah. I never played it. It was a little before my time, I think. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely know of the character. I know the game. So, yeah, that's cool. We got all sorts of little references on there. You absolutely must turn on the TV in our classroom. Channel number four. Remember, it's channel number four. Signed, Henry. There's the eclipsed sun again. There's no music. That feels really weird. Ooh. What in the world? <laughs> Chester, anything to say? What do you mean? It's just, it's just some room in the demon world. It's just like yours. That's not true. <laughs> References or anything in here? Doesn't look like it. The clock's broken though. There's the music. Oh. Ah, look! Is it a ghost? No, he looks, uh, not ghostly. Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, man? Come on, we'll get you out of here. I'm not allowed out of here. Wait a minute. Isn't that the guy from... The, you know, the... You know, right? Yeah, Chester. We know. Hi, I'm Emily. Who are you? Me? I'm Henry. Just Henry. What are you doing here, Henry? Here? I don't know. Just sitting here looking out the window, I guess. Uh, what window? How long have you been doing that? I don't know. Uh, so we'll get you out of here. I'm Emily. Who are you? Oh. Came here to pull the lever? Get you out of here. Just stand there. I'm not allowed to leave. You can't now. I'm allowing you. Wow, really? That's great. I don't have anywhere to go. There's shadows of Big Lewis roaming the hall. Yeah, they won't let me through. We'll beat them. And the gardener who works in the garden, he's invincible. I'm totally afraid of him. We'll beat him too! Came here to pull the lever? What? What are you talking about? How we know. I mean, we know everything. It's... It wasn't my fault. It was all his fault. Big Lewis did everything. Big Lewis? Yeah, Big Lewis pulled the lever. I was sh I was against it. That's why he put me in here. Uh... Can you take us to Big Lewis? That sounds bad. He's in there, in the mansion. I'm not allowed out of here. Look, he's hurting a lot of people. 
Someone has to stop him. What can I do? I'm weak. What do we need him for? We've always managed on our own. Let him sit here, by himself. You have permission to get out of here. It doesn't matter who gave it to you. Uh... They're my friends, right? Of course. We're good, kind people. And we protect other people, like you. Wow, lucky me. So, what do you want with Big Lewis? <laughs> we just want to talk, or a demon lives inside of him. Preventing him from being as good as you are. We want to help him. Uh, you just want to talk to him? Um, okay. I like talking, too. It's only... I do have one condition. Oh, you. Ow. Of course, what's the condition? Before I go confront Big Lewis, I want my memory back. I've been left here before, but not for long. I want to know what happened to Big Lewis during those moments. Okay, now how do we do that? Sometimes memorable places within these walls, where I can remember things I didn't know before. Okay, show me one and I'll sniff out the rest. Mido-san? Oh, there we go. Let's see what kind of critters we have in this place. Ugh. Oh my god, no. What is that? Brain flower. Ugh. Oh, it's a va vampire. Weak to dark. Weak to ice. Wind. Okay. Okay, how much do we have? 200, 135. Increase strength. Very rain! Ooh, one shot, there we go. Mm. If you're worthy of reading my poems, then open the lock. Open what lock? Oh, hi! Slap! Slap him! Ooh, ooh! Where owl and homunculus? Ooh, shadow and fire. Let's do this. That's a heck of a way to take him out. Shadow Oh, come on. Okay. So we can 
Woof. Oh, bullshit. God damn it. Still a heck of a way to uh, death animation, I guess. No! God damn it! Ugh. Giant fish head. Coastal breeze. Coastal breeze. What was that? Must have been the wind. <laughs> Take this apron, grandmother's gift. Thinking about the sticking to the sneaky move. Nine cents. Nice. Mechanical components. Ooh. Okay. Aha. Door. It's a little hard to see the doors, but. There is something! Here, the bag! What? Charlie couldn't fit in the bag unless he... Oh no. Oh my god. Relax, you chicken. It's just Johnny's backpack. Great. Now they'll have to believe us. Johnny's backpack! Slap him! Ooh. Okay, you know what? We are going to do this. Demon capture. Just its normal down animation? Jeez. Actually, we'll take this one out. We'll take the one out, and then the next turn we can try and catch one. Try taking out the. It's not guaranteed that it'll give you an extra move there. Whenever you do the uh, oh, what 
Wait, are they strong to... Are they strong to bullet shoot? Of course. One shot! Subdue! There we go. Freaking green flower thing. Oh, wait, we need to check these now. Check the demons. Which we have acquired. Ooh, it's a fairly big upgrade. Oh, but the only has one. In the whisper. But your med pack increased endurance, increased luck, and heal. I reflects fire. You reflect wind. Okay, so now we're getting. Okay, okay. Ramona. Increase your agility. Yeah, just in case your agility. How does Stump have? Increase strength, increase agility, increase strength. Ah, this increased strength has been decent so far. But I think I might do it just for the uh, increase in agility and the ability to block fire. Wind. Who else has wind stuff? On you. Wind whisper and hurricane. I don't really use the. So I think I'll just switch. Maybe that on you. On you. On you to wear out. Yeah, why not? Give us immunity to wind damage. And so Hugo, you need some uh, some SP there. Ooh, don't say no to that. Eighty-eight cents. Okay, there's a door up here, wasn't there? Ah, that's locked. Ooh, what pick. There we go. Ooh, there we go. One dollar. Okay. Mystic gloves. Mechanical components. Oh, Marco, you make me hot as a charcoal. You're the... Hello, Peridol, and my oatmeal. Hello, Peridol? Oh, I'm guessing that's a medication. An ice pick in my front lobe. Yep. Oh, jeez. Is that a table of contents? No, it's a poem. The rhymes are sketchy, but the metaphors are something else. Yeah, no kidding. There's a scissor man thing again. Skeleton! Mr. Skeleton! Skeleton! Oh, keep reading that. Ugh. Slap. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Blizzard! You want the little guy? Me! You want the little lizard guy? So we'll save! Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Hold on. Uh, fire. Also fire. And thunder. Hmm. Oh, we still have increased strength. 
Check out the lizard and B. Another agility. Let's see, med pack, increase endurance, increase luck, and heal. Six, six, seven, sixteen, seven. Your agility a bit more. Why not? That laser. Shadow strike and deep shadows. Ooh. Shadowed all. Oh, it's the area attack for shadow. The fighter. Hmm. Ooh. This is magic and endurance. How long, what now does Puss and Boots give us? Fireball and Venom Dart. Right. Crap. Uh. Hmm. It really affects how much they dodge and he needs to dodge a lot so he can counter attack though so i'm gonna swap it out to lizard hmm. reflex ice that's nice wait really nothing okay That doesn't look good. <laughs> Playing chess by the edge of oblivion. The TV, uh, channel four. No! No! Oh, I just noticed the little the eyes under the floorboards. That's disturbing. So much damage to us. Okay. How come they take out the gun so fast, but putting it back takes forever? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Wait, 
See, how does it take so long to put it back? But taking it out, or putting it back in, takes forever. <sighs> Anyways, let's check out that Ampure. Venom Dark and Venom Storm. Oh, I don't see how to figure that. He's got high magic. A decent endurance. Excuse me. I think we'll stick with what we got. Choose the channel. It's four. Ahem. Name. And accept it. You've used your last token. Ooh. Meat candy. Huh. Okay. Scrap. Ooh, ten. Slap him. They're so cute. Unless they eventually grow up to become brain flowers, then then they're not so cute. Oh, come on. The Let's use this, I guess. Just to keep going after this guy. Oh. Oh. Weakness. There we go. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Deep Shadows cost 50? Really? Woof. Oh, come on. God damn it. They really do have it stacked you stacked against you when it comes to uh accuracy. There's like no way to deny that. Heal! Hugo! Mr. Hugo! Guard. 
everybody's SP. Wap up. Punch him. Trying to get our resources we feel like we've got. Need almost 3,000 experience for the next level. No new spell. Shit. Who go? Look at this good boy. Ooh, okay. Fairly balanced stats. This way. Safe station. Ooh, the chesty dude. Reviver X solution. Here you can walk out into the garden. It's very beautiful. You can even see the sky. The lap of luxury. But the gardener's there. I'm very afraid of them. Don't be afraid, we'll protect you. Don't worry about the gardener. It's very scary. Very informative. Slap! Two and a half hours. Okay. Let's see. It's a dark, dark fire thunder. There we go. I should have healed just a chi star. Oh, come on. Damage! They do so much damage! to me okay so that is good against this one if it hits fire to me oh, come on seriously god damn man 
Holy shit. Spells, great. Oh, fully balanced. She star. There we go. And uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. bless you. Okay. I think there was a door back here somewhere. There it is. It's locked. Oh, there we go. Black tank. Yeah. Ooh, just one chest. S sizzle of the season. Really tears up the crown. Oh, it's a boom bang for. Wow, that's a heck of a jumping damage. That's a nice chunk of damage. Now, should we hop back out and. Try going through again so that we can get another level up, or... They do give us, like, around... five to six hundred experience each turn, or each time, so... Yeah, I think we'll... I think we'll make another run through and try and get another level. Okay. We have lots of reading to do. Reading! So, should I use up the demons that I do have that I'm not using? To level up the others, or uh, check this really quick. Just a second. Let's see, just a second. Hang with me for just a second.
Okay, well, we're gonna make our guys a little bit stronger. I think we'll keep a couple of, like, I want to keep the Christian boots. Because that one's got uh, two different uh, damage types. And I want to keep a uh, stump. Because he's a healer. He's a good healer. Onion was. Onion was a special. We're gonna keep Onion. Because he. We got that one through, like, special means, so. But, uh. Let's try doing this one. Ooh, no, not that one. This guy, though. Yeah, try and get a new. Ah, we didn't get a new spell. What does the singer have? That's also a healer. Uh, oh. Nah, we're all get rid of the weird healer. New spell chance. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that one too. And this guy. Ah, come on. Oh well. We need to grab more demons. We need to subdue more demons. But I also need to level up more. <sighs> also, I need to get your health up a bit more. I should do an exercise. Level up. Remember to stay nice and hydrated, especially when you're uh, exercising, working, doing anything. Make sure to keep nice and hydrated. But don't overhydrate, because that can make you sick. I think we're going to do this a, a few more times just to try and get our... Wow, that takes a lot of the day away. Just try and get our health up real, real high. Oh, it does three hours at a time. I see. It's not very efficient to only go up five HP for. Well, it's a permanent five five HP though each time we do it. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's a whole day wasted. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was a whole day just uh, getting. Well, I guess it's not wasted. We still got got our health up. Oh, we can do the uh the space jazz. Space jazz. Space jazz. Uh. Jazz Club. Oh, wait, we still have to wait until later in the evening, though. On Friday, Saturday, Sunday, from 4 to 7 p.m. Shoot. So we need to waste time until then. How much cash do we have? We have 14 bucks. It's not going to get us a whole lot. Like the really good, of the higher end equipment and stuff. Uh. I guess we could go 
shoot. Oh, come on. Can you go here? Nope, oh, I can't. Alright. What you got, buddy? I'm sure fish. Wait, Emily. There we go. Hmm. We need to keep our accuracy up. Oh, there we go. Steady way. Rogue's treasure. Oh, agility to five. Ah, but accuracy down to 90. Ugh. I think we'll go with the steady way. Living horror. <laughs> Street King. Stunning lady. And cheeky sidekick. Sucker punch. Which fire? So I want to rock and roll. Hers just aren't very accurate, unfortunately. Slayer of the Wicked. Ooh. I kind of want that. that. That sounds pretty good. Wow, that is really good. That's, oh, but it's only got two rounds? Shoot. Let's go. Woof. Chips and soda. Chaps and soderps. Sense, sure. A little bit more, a little bit more health. So why not? I need to do more stretches. Okay, now it should be open. Three thirteen. two hours, so it's, it's much more efficient to come over here and do it. But it costs money each time, too. Hmm. Well, what? Yes. This way, if we uh, have to do stuff just with Emily and Hugo again, maybe we'll survive longer. Yeah. I was planning to do some work today, but uh, we just spent it working out. 333. Um, we got a, a new weapon, too. Oh. Ah, there it is. Jazz clue. Why can't I get in? Why can't I bring a friend? Because there's a minimum age limit here, I'm telling you. Why? Do you, like, sell alcohol? That's really none of your business. And you have a liquor license, don't you? Uh-oh. So I thought. I could tip my father off about this. He's a cop, you know. 
Um, how about this? You can walk around as much as you like, but just you and that friend of yours. And no drinks from the bar. Don't even dream of that. See, sometimes there is a way to make everyone happy. Blackmailing people under Frank's nose? Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Come on, Ramona. I... I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Something is definitely going on here. You don't say. So what is it? You'll understand when you grow up. <laughs> Another kid. Look, this is an adult establishment. Children are not allowed in. Uh, no, I'm just a friend of the other girl. I might have overheard one interesting fact. Is there a blackmailing school around here or what? Alright, but I repeat, no alcohol. Only juice cocktails. Let's see the show. Oh, when does Miss Stork concert start? Too late for you. 8 p.m. The age limit is 16, so you kids can move along. Oops. It's too bad. What do you think? Is this what we're looking for? There are no other options left. Is it just me, or do these aliens seem to know too much about Bloomtown? Ruth, come in. We've solved the riddle. The meeting will take place at 8 p.m. at the old railway station, where the railroad tracks meet. We'll be there, so don't be afraid of anything and come over. Over and out. Okay. Goodbye. Co <laughs> Coffee, fried chicken, orange juice. Okay. It's a nice little place. I wonder what the rock club is like. <gasps> Jesus, Jason, I'm just trying to help. Hey, wizard, why don't you quit farting around and vibe to this face melting track with us? Look at me move! I'm the king! <laughs> For God's sake, Jason. You wanted to be a meteorologist. I remember how you would come home after school and tell us what form of clouds you saw on the way. So why did you stop... So why did you stop twisting your weather vane, huh? huh? Oh yeah, baby. That's the rhythm. That's different. I have a family. My son, he knew I had my reasons. It hurts my eyes to look at you. I can't even imagine what will happen to you when the latest rock and roll fad ends. Jason, think about the future. I need a normal job. You think about the future. Full of regrets about all the fun you could have. Yoo-hoo, baby. Yeah, baby, that's it. Jason, I know you can hear me. You have to get rid of Elvis. He's consuming you completely. There's nothing to consume. There's nothing there before Elvis. I see. Well, I tried. For the last time. What's happening here? Got some, got some up and coming bands playing here. There's even a local Elvis. Also, local kids have turned the toilet door into a message board. If you want to stay for the show, you have to pay. Right. Okay. Interact. Uh, Rocking Rockets are performing tonight, as always. No cost to you. 14 cents. Probably not today. I remember you. You were here with Ramona. Y yeah. Do I really stand out like that? We just try to get to know every potential thing. Too few people are coming to our concert so far, so we remember everyone. It's important to know which audience we're targeting. Geek much? But I guess that's a good thing for a drummer. <laughs> all these, all the stickers are stained, and there's a terrible odor seeping in through the door. I'm hoping it's only because someone spilled some beer. <laughs> Small note. There we go. You know the vending machine behind the carody near the bus stop? If you press 3, 8, and 5 at the same time, a secret lemonade can pop out. Ooh. Hmm. Wow, I'll have to check that out. Large note. Does anyone know who owns the cool red t-shirt hanging in the back in the bookstore's backyard? 
It's mine. I honestly stole it from a concert in Detroit. You lucky son of a biscuit. If it's stolen, there's no shame in taking it for myself. This is the sanctuary of Groove, baby. Step into the room and be blessed by the meat. Okay. Shoot, what did it say by the bus station? This? Three, five, and. Oh! Cool! Alright, I need to wait until 8 o'clock and go to the. Uh, uh, this place. Mysterious meeting. My server was blocked, it's still here. Hmm. Oh no. Okay, fine. Wait, can we we can't we can't fast travel. Oh no. Okay, so we have to get go over to the to the place manually, I guess. Hmm. In the rain too. Jeez, man. That made me jump. <laughs> am I going the right way? I am going the right way. What is it? No, not mine. I saw the umbrella by the uh, the shooting range up at the top corner, and I, for whatever reason, I thought it was a lollipop. I mean, I guess it kind of, it kind of looks like a lollipop if you just catch it by the corner of your eye. So, I guess we, uh... Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> hey! We came after all. Sorry, but we shouldn't be talking. Wait! Why did you tell me where you live if you don't want to talk? We're both girls. We can find the common language. You're alive. She's dead. You, you've got more differences than you think. Aww. There has to be some reason that we were able to come back and talk with him, right? Hmm, now that he's gone, does that mean that we can get this chest up here? No! Ah! That guy. Okay, so we just kind of... Ruth! I can't smell her scent. We're too early. Shall we wait for her here? Yeah, let's wait. Oh, hey, Ruth. You here already? I thought you'd chicken out and I'd just go home. Don't panic. The backup team is in place. Go ahead and we'll have your back. No, no, no. What if they beam me up and take me away under the flying saucer? Okay, fine. We'll go ahead. You go. Stay on your toes. I'm always on my toes. I'm a dog. Woof. Ooh. Secretive person. Um, hello. Uh, there's no password in the notes, so this is us. Yeah. Greetings. They are glad you could make it. Holy Galileo. They want proof that you're worth meeting. Solve this puzzle and they will appear before you. Uh-oh. See those toads? You need to swap them. The toad can either jump onto the next row, road tie in front of it, or jump over the toad in front of it. Oh, great. That's it. We're going home. Huh? This is not the time to be turned back. We're already here. Let's solve the stupid puzzle and find out who they are. Yeah. 
Hmm. Nah. Ugh. I can't do this. My brain is mush. I'm out of ideas. Ah. Hugo, stay with Ruth and bring her to her senses while I solve the puzzle. Let's step back. This cruel spectacle is not worth watching. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh no. So we can't move them backwards. Shit. Something's wrong. Let's start from the beginning. Toads, back to square one. Oh boy. kinds of puzzles. <sighs> okay. Oh man. I've never been good at these puzzles. these puzzles <laughs> oh, I'm too stupid for this no that just fucks up the whole thing right there This one. No. So I move that one there. It blocks them. How the hell are you supposed to do? Oh god, I hate these puzzles. Before I drive myself nuts. Let's see. Uh, 
this one. This one. Wait a second. I think I get it. I think I get it now. Uh, wait before I fuck this up. Uh, okay, it's just like a um, Look it up. This one. done with these kinds of puzzles. I'm really bad at them. They're moving stuff from one side to the other. Those kind of puzzles just... I, I don't know why my brain can't figure it out. Amazing! You aced the challenge. Huh. I'm very much like Ruth when it comes to <laughs> those kinds of puzzles. They did it. Starting the initiation. Ooh. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second there. I knew it! I knew it, damn it! Hello. You passed the challenge with flying colors, girls. That's why we're talking... That's why we're taking you in. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't sign up for that. Oh. Hang on a second. Right. I'm Elijah, head of the Robotics and Aircraft Modeling Club. We're celebrating Space Day today, so we decided to show up in all our glory. Oh, by the way, this is Snoopy, and this is Archie. We've been, ha we've been watching you for a long time, Ruth. We saw great potential in you. And you, Emily, you breezed through our puzzle. It was impressive. So we're inviting you to both... We're inviting you both to join our club. Well, what do you say? <laughs> Uh, 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 oh. So you're not aliens, are you? Only on Space Day. I'm down for it. I'll join your club. Awesome. What about you, Emily? Why not? What's in it for me? Sounds great, but I'm very busy. Why not? Brilliant! Please, welcome two new members of the Cassiopeia Club. Uh, cool, I guess. Let's go say hi to Ruth, then. Hey, Ruth. Hey, fellas. Hello. Gift. Wow. I already know all of this, of course. I always wanted to add this book to my collection. Hey, fellas. Hello. Hang out. I'm always in. I don't mind. Damn, it's late. Cooper's going to kill me. Let's hang out tomorrow. Oh, shoot me this. Aw, oh, man. Chi star. Oh. Ugh. Uh. Friend. Where's Ruth's five? Where's random buff? Oh, right. Let's uh, do a little bit of reading, shall we? Get a decent chunk out of this book. I'll sleep.
<sighs> sleepy, sleepy. Eon! Stretch, scooch. Now we're good. Okay, so... Let's go hang out with Ruth. And then... And we'll run back to the... Uh... Back to the underside. Try going through a couple of times to level up. Hey, fellas. Hello. Hey, Boys in. Summertime. Hey, girl. You're right on time. Boys are coming soon. Those green men with toad puzzles? Yeah. Today's a big day. But I won't tell you without them. Oh. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, sister. Welcome. We're having a meeting. See, work is in full swing here. Got a real smart atmosphere to it. What are we gathering at Ruth's? Atmosphere. Oh, the atmosphere is normal. It's just doing what gases do, best taking up space. <laughs> I see you guys are a tight unit. It's so awesome that you found friends who think like you. Not just friends, like brothers to me. Might sound silly, but I finally have people with, so with solder circuits with. Oh, I finally have people to solder circuits with. Oh, shut up before you get me all teary eyed. We've got big things ahead of us. This isn't, the, this isn't the time to get sentimental. We picked up signals from space. It's ca looks like they're using some kind of code to communicate with us. Oh god, not again. No, it's different this time. But we can't seem to decipher the sequence. Maybe the time hasn't come yet. But we're not giving up. Listen, when's the next costume day? I love those alien costumes. What aliens? Well, last time we dressed up as great scientists. <laughs> You're a right, Archie. Um, okay. Important thing is that you found your people on Earth. Yeah. You might even go to space someday. Right, guys? You bet. <laughs> Aww. People catch signals. There we go. So, do they just kind of hang out here now? They just kind of hang out here now. Okay. Alright, let's head on back to the underside. Try to get another level up or two. If you're looking for less gifts, to a friend, call now. Infiltrate the underside. Go back to the entrance so we can get all the fun little encounters again. I don't think we went into this door. <laughs> I guess we haven't. Glad we came back. Demon cat. Ooh, a free demon catcher. That was really worth coming back for. How many uh, mock picks do we have? Four. Okay. Okay. Collections. Ah. So, wait, how do we get there? On a rainy evening, the vibrant fins of the watercolor epistus create what looks like abstract art on the surface of the water. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so each of them, each of the uh, rare stuff, or hard to catch stuff, uh, one comes out in certain conditions. Gotcha. It's gonna make stuff a little bit tricky, but okay. Slap. Sleep, slap, sloop. Let's see. So we can 
gun to wear owl. The owl bear. Because we caught the one, so we didn't get the experience for it. That kind of sucks. I mean, I get it, but it still kind of sucks that we don't get anything for it. Other than... Oh! I come up here last time. Okay. It's just like a big old maze, ain't it? meant to make you crazy, huh? Wait a second. There used to be a guy. There was a guy here. Where'd he go? Hmm. So you still want him here? Aha, there you are. Slap him. Okay. That's why we need him with high, uh, high agility. Sixty. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, there we go. Big wolf. Oh, come on. Five 
90. Ooh, there we go. That's what we need. I don't know. Do we really need to level up the demons when we can just get stronger ones as we go along? Hmm. We didn't have nearly as many enemies as we did. I was hoping there would be along the way. Ooh, there's faces in that wall there. See it in the hedge? There's two of them. Wow, what a statue. There's more faces. I bet it's alive. I'm gonna kick it. Chester. Don't! Something might happen. Look, there seems to be something missing. Tell us anything? It's not for a special stone. I don't know, what do you think? Tell us anything? Ah, oh, there should be a stone there. That's strange. There used to be a stone under every statue. The gardener always kept an eye on them. Well, let's take a look around. Let's find at least one stone tablet to have an example. Chester, aren't you tired yet? I won on points. I won on points? Hmm. It's in the socket. Ooh. Look around. Mesa Luis, 1896 to 1925. Think they're related? Hmm. Place isn't the best kept place, you know? Study the inscription. So long as the garden so long as the garden sleeps, he lies dormant. Open the eyes of stone and he awakens. I think it's about the gardener. It's in a strange circle. It's there for a reason. Of course. It looks pretty. It's definitely not... It's definitely not just decoration. It's not clear what, what it's supposed to show. I do like the color of it, though. Ooh. There's a bunch of... <laughs> there's a bunch of bones in there. Ooh. Hmm. Wait a second. That's not it. Oh, I see. I see. Wait, what? What the hell happened? Anything that will fit. Uh. Look around. There's plates on the wall. Math again? Oh, wait, hold on. It's three, three, four. Three, four, eight. Three, four, eight. Oh, it's another the the addition one. Hold on, so three. Six, so ten. So four zero eight and five. So it's thirteen, so four one three. The click. I don't have anything that will fit. Ow. Of course not. Mm. Oh. 
Hey, what do you make of this? You may need to try to raise or lower all the levers. It's pretty obvious. So, there's some levers there, suspiciously close to the slab. Okay, well, how do we... Hold on, I can't see what's going on here. Now we can put something in there. Oh, I was trying to do something totally different, but okay. So... Nope. Hey, the gardener always has all the keys. He told us that a little earlier. He realize now we have to track him down to... Can we just look for nothing and all go home? Eyes. They had glowing eyes. I think they were watching the garden. When I hit the statue, it didn't look at me. Mm-hmm. Could it have something to do with those slots for the stones? Where could the stones have gone? Maybe there's still at least wood lying, lying around in the garden here. Maybe somebody pawned them. Let's get the pawn shop. Ah, we have to leave anyways. Okay. No. Oh. Wait, what? Look, there's something lying in there. Goo! Get ready to get it. No, can't you see the color of the sludge? What's the worst that could happen? I'll turn purple? I'll turn into a slug. No, no. Get it yourself. It's in the fountain. There's a promising looking stone at the bottom. But to get it, you have to drain the water. Give me one. Chester, you're a boy, aren't you? Indeed I am. Why do you ask? Here, come on and help your sister out. Be a man. This is oppression. Why doesn't Hugo help? Nah, I got paws. I'm a dog. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Everyone against poor Chester. <laughs> come on, Chester. Thanks, Chester. You're doing great. It's better than oppression. Get the stone plate. Come to mama. What makes this stone so special? Does it have the symbol of uh, some element? Hmm. It's definitely something occult. Old and rare. How do you ever possibly find so many special old stones? They could be anywhere. No one wants stones like that. If I had one, I'd pawn it for a soda pop. You'd start at the pawn shop. They better all be there. They better be free. Plate with skull drawn. So I think that's the dark element, right? Probably. Plate the seed. I don't anything to plant right now. Something written on the statue. The runestone. The runestone plate can't fit until the sprouts are standing straight. Still blocked. So we have to get some seeds. So the sprouts are standing straight. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Back to Bloomtown. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of cash to 
do the TV shopping thing. Alright. So I need to go to the pawn shop. We might do that and then we might call it a night for the night. Oh. Proficiency. See, the other one we need is what? Proficiency and guts. We almost got guts all the way up. Proficiency still needs a whole another level. To the pawn shop! So that way I don't forget. It'll only be till tomorrow, so. Talk. Tell me, have you seen any strange square stones with symbols of elements on them? Hmm. I think I had one of those. Maybe they're worth something as a pair. I'll relieve you of yours for 70 cents. Since I'm feeling in a generous mood. No! On the contrary, we would like to buy a similar stone from you. If you want, it's yours. For a dollar. A dollar? Just a second ago you said it was worth 70 cents. He's a salesman, Emily. What do you expect? I expected a fair deal. Ooh! There we go. Okay, okay. I'll sell you mine for 70 cents. You caught me by surprise. I got a reputation here. If you're interested in all sorts of unusable items, you should go to the mystery items shop. It's in the rich district. I don't think you can afford anything there, but still, it's for the tip. I... Wait a second. Let's go! Woof! I want to buy that stone with symbol. 70 cents for you. Deal. Bye. Plate with scratch marks. Mystery item shop. Hey, weird guy. Ask about the stones with symbols on them. Like these. Oh, what a nice piece. I know somebody in Liverpool who would pay enough. I'll take it for five dollars. How's that sound? Five? Yes! I mean, no! They're not for sale. I'm sure we can come to some kind of agreement. Tell me, do you have any more of these? I have some, but not the full set. I really need all the similar stones you have. Ugh, okay. I'll put them on display. Do you know where to find the other ones? I've been trying to get Miss Pillow and Miss Crow to sell me their stone for a long time. What do those old bats want it for? It's a tool for practicing magic! The mayor has another one. He uses it as a paperweight. He doesn't want to sell it either. Hmm. Oh, okay, fine. Buy the... What? Buy the tea, Thayam, Vapen, Ne, Villar. Buy? Oh! Okay. Plate with bullet. Plate with flame. Plate with, with polar star pattern. Okay. Let's miss Pillow and Miss Crow. Yeah, that's not the right place. Take care of the plants. Now nah, that's better. They're over here. Hello, Emily. Do you need any help? No, sweetheart, thank you. 
Here you have an interesting stone. A stone? An interesting stone? No, no, I have a lot of interesting stones. <laughs> Don't fret, dear. You have wonderful stones. Wartzite, amethyst, crystal, even the anth anthracite. Wow. It's true that amethyst can purify one's aura. You need so many of them to enhance the magic. Someone just likes to collect junk. There's also that fortune-telling crystal from Joseph. I think Emily is interested in something specific. Real magic, not these, you know. Unlike real magic stones, these ones look pretty. So Emily, what are you looking for? A square stone with a symbol. Something to do with the elements and demons. Let me think. Not that big one you use to press the straw. No, that one is from the Assyrian Temple in Ur. Under the washing machine? Under the washing machine. That's right. So what do you need it for? Save a friend. You need it for a summoning ritual. Oh, well, that's dangerous. You should try to find another way. Sounds like fun! I'll go get it! <laughs> Here, this is a stone you need? Yeah, it looks like it. How many of these stones are in a full set? What are their pictures on them? They look like symbols of different elements or types of damage. There must be as many of them as there are elements or types of damage that can be dealt to demons. Let's see, there's one in the garden, one in the pawn shop, and three more in the mystery item store. The mayor had one, and one was yours. Where else could one be? How should we know that, honey? You're not enmeshed in the details of your little mystery. There's a kid who lives in the woods. He scavenged through trash cans a lot. Maybe he found one of the stones. What if he hasn't? We'll call Joseph. What else can we do? No, no, not Joseph. His voice will not be on my phone line. Thank you. I'll go. Sure, honey. Go ahead. Okay. So now we know where to find all of them. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'll jump over here. Saving. Okay. No. Uh, all right. I know we're start or we're ending a little early tonight, but again, I just today was a better day at work, but still, still tiring. So I think I think Thursdays it. As, as long as it keeps getting, as long as we're staying there at the current place that we are, we might make a Thursday and Friday streams a little bit shorter as we get more tired through the week, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, so we made, a, we made a little bit more progress in the story. We, we wrapped up each of, we wrapped up everybody's side stories so far so i'm curious who and all else we'll get as like a little ally like we have with ruth there's got to be more than just just these three and ruth right i guess we'll see in the next one i'm not sure if we'll finish up the next chapter in the next one but again we'll see but uh until then <laughs> Come on back, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Uh, stumbling all over my words. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!